So today we have a 1994 Mercedes-Benz G320. Vehicle was never sold in North America. Originally this one's been imported from Japan, I believe. And about a year ago I put a, a used engine block in this thing because it had a piston knock. And uh, now it's got an oil leak, so we're going to have to put it up in the air and see if we can determine where the oil is leaking out of. I've checked the engine oil. It's full and clean. Um, we'll have a look underneath. So with the vehicle up in the air, there seems to be some oil droplets on the back of the bell housing. Um, I'm going to take that inspection cover right here off as well as this plug here in the back where you can access the torque converter to see if we can see in there but there's oil droplets here and here some of that's water from the snow that melted off the roof yesterday not a huge amount of oil by looking at it but let's have a closer look with that cover so I've added fluorescent dye to the engine oil and I'm running it now. I'm going to check the PCV system to make sure the PCV system is functioning properly and the crankcases are building up with pressure. We're going to run it on, uh, on the hoist here and see if we can see any signs of leaks. So after running for about an hour at fast idle, you can see oil running down the side of the pan here. And it appears to be coming from up the side the motor mount there. And I'm not sure what's up there. I don't know if there's an oil pressure sender. But this oil on the pan here is fresh. There is one bolt way up there that looks suspicious on the oil pan, but I can't see that leaking. So I've blown the oil off that bolt up there. I can't see it very well with them. And you can actually see it's coming from above that bolt and running down. I think that's the oil dipstick tube. I think that's where the oil dipstick tube would be located. So I wonder if the O-ring on the dipstick tube, because this is new oil right here, this, this trace here. The back of the engine, there was oily residue back there, but it's hard to tell how much is coming, flowing back, and whether the rear seal might be in fact leaking. I'm going to have a look at that dipstick tube. There is definitely oil coming from that general vicinity. So it's really hard to tell if it is in fact the dipstick tube that's leaking. I've got this bore scope in here and I'm looking at the dipstick tube seal right there and it looks a little suspicious. It is definitely wet and that is in the general vicinity of the front of the engine just above that motor mount. So for what it's going to take, I'm going to take the dipstick tube out. There is one little bolt here that holds the dipstick tube in and it's removable and we'll change the o-ring on it and then clean it off and try it again. So there's the dipstick tube out. You can see there's engine oil on the dipstick tube. So I'm thinking this seal might be leaking here. We're going to clean up that, put a new o-ring on there, see if we can find an o-ring. And uh, put it back in, clean the area, and see if it's still leaking. So the closest o-ring I could find was a fuel injector o-ring from an Audi. And I think that should work. I think if anything it's just a tad bit thicker which might help as long as it'll go in there we'll put it in and clean up the area and see if it still leaks. So I noticed when I reinstalled it that the o-ring barely went into the engine block and yet there's about a quarter of an inch or a half an inch of bore left. So remember I changed this block from another it was a 3.2 out of a car so maybe the block dimension is different for this dipstick tube I can't move this bracket down any further to push the tube further into the engine so I'm going to double up the o-ring and put a second o-ring here um, because there's more than enough room. So as you can see I cleaned it off and it's still running down from there. So now I also notice this trail running down from the front. So it appears that something's leaking on the front of the timing cover. So I'm at a loss as to where exactly this oil is coming from. It could be coming from the lower section of the timing cover. I know it's not coming from the upper section of the timing cover and that stupid gasket that has a tendency to leak. 
could be coming from this joint here between the timing cover and the engine block on the front but it's definitely running down the front side here you can see evidence of new oil get the light here you can see that that's new that's the majority of the leak there is a very little bit of oil that's accumulated after running for about an hour at fast idle on the bell housing here that could be coming from the rear seal area it's almost impossible to tell but it could also be coming from the oil pan gasket at the back the gasket was replaced but it's so hard to tell where this is coming from even with a bore scope watching it it's running down this corner and up here from the back of this motor mount I wonder if that motor mount seals any galleries or anything I don't recall I know these motor mounts had to be replaced because the motor mount brackets were different on this engine but that's definitely a fairly significant oil leak as you can see but where is it coming from timing cover I don't think it's oil pan gasket trouble is I can't get anything else off to see in here and then you have to run it to see where it's at fast idle to see where it's actually coming from oh well I'll discuss this with the customer so I've looked from the top and the bottom and as near as I can tell it may be coming from behind the harmonic balancer from the front seal I did replace that seal when I put this engine in, but I can't remember if uh, there could be a groove or a line on the pulley, but I can't tell. It's definitely not coming from the upper half of the timing cover. It's dry up there, and some of the oil is migrating along the oil pan flange, like down here, blowing back. You can see it's running down here, and it's also coming down from the other side. So I think the next course of action is to pull the harmonic balancer off. But in order to do that, you gotta take the rad out and the shroud and the fan. And then of course with the rad and shroud and fan out, we can't run it for any length of time to see if the oil leak has resolved. So this is difficult to say the least. So we got the uh, rad, fan shroud, fan blade, pulley, serpentine belt off. And looking up here through the harmonic balancer, it looks suspiciously wet under the harmonic balancer at the seal area there. That looks wet. So we're gonna yeah, that definitely looks like the seal is leaking. That's the seal right there. And it's definitely damp there, but we'll have to pull the balancer off. But I gotta rig up some kind of a puller. I, I pulled the pulley off. There's no bolt holes in there other than these small little six mil bolts, but we're going to have to see if if we can hook onto these with something. I wonder if that Chrysler puller will work on here. Hmm. So there's the pulley off. I used this uh, harmonic balancer puller for a Chrysler. Managed to get it in there and it actually worked. Now that the pulley is off, you can see oil residue here. I'm not sure if I actually replaced this seal when I know I didn't take the timing cover off because the original timing cover is still on his original engine. So I'm going to get the black light and look at this. So I've threaded two self-tapping screws into the seal and I'm going to use those with a hooked bar of some kind to try and pry the seal out. So this is what I used to pull the seal out, a small little hooked bar. It's just a little uh, carpentry tool, believe it or not. There is the seal. The seal lip is fairly brittle, so I'm positive I never changed the seal. I don't recall pulling this puller pulley off. The seal area looks pretty good. We're going to clean up with some emery cloth, put a new seal in it. So there's the new seal installed. I used the harmonic balancer bolt and a bearing race to press it in. 
it's square and cleaned up the pulley there is a very very fine line on it but I don't think it'll hurt anything and I put a little bit of silicone inside the pulley spline just in case the oil would try to come down the uh, the keyway I should say so we're gonna put this back together so it's back together and running we haven't changed the oil yet but we'll let it run for about an hour here and see if there's any evidence of a leak again and if it's okay, we'll change the oil. If the customer has new oil and filter, at least I think he wanted the oil changed. I'll call him and ask him. Well, not so good. After running for about 45 minutes, it's leaking down the left-hand side, just in front of that motor mount there. You can see a drop of oil clinging to that bracket whatever that happens to be but it's clean now on the right side of the engine that front seal definitely was leaking but that's not all of it so I dragged the old engine out of the snowbank to see exactly what was on this side of the engine and there's this aluminum housing here I'm not sure if it's some kind of a cooler but it appears to be leaking right in this area here now there's that goes right in the crankcase and there's a drain hole here in this engine I'm wondering if this gasket's leaking in this area hmm well we're gonna have to take the water pump and everything off the water pump sits up here. The power steering pump sits over here to see what's going on here, but it's definitely in this area where it's leaking. I thought it was the dipstick tube gasket seal, but it's not. And there's no other places for engine oil to leak on this side of the engine. As far as I can tell, this gasket surface here is not leaking. So we're going to have to pull some stuff off the front here. So I've taken the radiator out again, the rad shroud, the rad fan, the viscous clutch, moved the power steering pump off to the side, disconnected the water pump pulley, removed the water pump pulley, obviously the serpentine belt. This is the bracket we're trying to take off here. It's a mount for the power steering pump and the belt tensioner. And there is a vent hose you can see down there, right down there, that goes up to the air intake so I think that's a crankcase vent or PCV circuit uh, we're gonna take this bracket off and see what's going on with it between the engine bracket and the block so there's that piece off the side of the block now you notice here there's dowel pins in here and this block that's on the floor over here which is the original engine has recesses in the block for the dowel pin holes Let's have a look at the block that's in here. I'm going to try to get in here. You notice that the bolt holes on the bottom have no dowel pins. So the bottom of that bracket was a few thousandths of an inch away from the crankcase here. There's a drain here for the crankcase and this hole here goes right into the crankcase. In fact, if you look through that hole, you can see a connecting rod. So that's why it was leaking, because it wasn't tight against the block. So we're going to clean up that gasket, remove those dowels, these little dowel pins here. You notice how they're sticking up. We're going to remove these dowel pins and reinstall this with uh, some RTV on this gasket. So there's the two dowels removed. They're pressed into here and the engine block doesn't have the bosses recessed to accept those dowels so that prevented the bottom of this plate from sealing against the block and that's why it was leaking oil so the gasket on that piece was a shim steel gasket I cleaned it up with brake cleans and I put RTV sealant on it and I managed to get it in in there and the bracket reinstalled bolts back on 
PCV hose, or at least the crankcase vent hose connected. Lower, uh, lower rad hose, which is this hose here, is held in with a bracket there and a bracket on the bottom. Now we're ready to put the power stream pump back in and reassemble this thing. So it's all back together, fresh oil change, running for about an hour and a half, and everything seems nice and dry now. So time will tell. I hope there's no other leaks on this thing. I've had this rat out of here twice now. It's all back together, fresh oil change. Up in that area where it was leaking, it's nice and dry now.